everybody, this is Applicable Dave. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to do something special. We're going to be doing a comic book haul from the free comic books that I got from Free Comic Book Day 2014. So I went to Sacramento, went to a bunch of comic shops and got some free goodies. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first place I went to was A1 Comic Book Shop and the, their limit was three free comics per person. So here's what I got. I got Bongo Comics. Famous for Simpson characters. I specifically got this to give to Webdack. I'm sure she'll enjoy that. Second one, got Superman, number one. And a lot of them have uh, free on it or it says uh, free comic book day just to differentiate because they do still sell their comics uh, at regular price. Actually, a lot of them had them, had them on sale, but uh, that's that was the second one. And third one is Guardians of the Galaxy. The reason why I got this one was because I wanted to learn more about the Guardians of the Galaxy. I knew about them, I just haven't read any of their comics. Especially the film is going to be coming out. It's kind of cool to kind of get a, a, a gist of the characters. And I'm super excited to see Karen Gillan uh, play one of the characters in that. So A1 Comics has some information there. Also got some, some free tats. Tattoos. And... There's another one right there. I don't know if you can see. I'll probably take pictures so I don't have to keep zooming in and out. And I got some buttons. I uh, Afterwards, after I got these, they said that there was only one limit, one button, but I didn't know that. So this is Fear. This comes from Walking Dead. I think. Not sure who that is, though. Uh, Infinity. This is Captain America. Captain America. And then I have another Infinity. This is Thanos. Excited to see him in the next Avengers. So that's what I got at A1. Also got some free posters. Some advertisement. Neighbors. And this is pretty sweet. It's a Sidecon plug. But it has your favorite characters. Batman and Robin. Pretty sweet there. So that's pretty cool. Okay, next up we have the first daughter. And this is a Ashcan edition, uh, number zero. So I, from what I understand, basically number zeros are basically introductions, kind of give you a teaser of what the comic is like. It's a substantially smaller than the average size comic book, but that's okay. And I think a lot of these, there's two comics in one. You just flip it over and there's another comic, so it's like half uh, half of this is uh, one story, and then the other half is a different story. This one is Tesla. Uh -huh. Pretty cool. Can't wait to read all these. This is going to be pretty sweet. Uh, this is Little Red Hot Bound, and it's actually uh, signed by Dawn Brown. She's the artist and also the, the writer, the illustrator, and the writer of this comic. So she signed it. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'd have to look into her more and see what other work she's done. But look, it's an image comic and it's issue number one. So that's really cool. And I, because I, I told you that some of the comics are are two storied, one, uh, one on each side, uh, this was flipped around. So I thought I uh, picked up a different one, but it turned out to be the same one. But that's okay. And then Dual Identity. There's another comic uh, behind it, or flipped over. And then we got this free insert for Sack Anime, which I'm really excited about. It's, uh, it's going to be a whole lot different because now I have a better understanding of what I need to do uh, as far as um, meetups and getting a being able to get some footage taken care of. It's going to be awesome. And we're going to have uh, Mark Shepard there. Pretty excited about him. I know that he's in Supernatural, even though I haven't seen it. He's been in Doctor Who. Um, he was the, uh, I think it's FBI or CIA agent who, uh, who helped uh, the doctor and, and his companions, uh, Amy and Rory. That's pretty cool. That's when they encountered the silence, the impossible astronaut. He also helped uh, take care of the doctor's body. Um, this I got at uh, Comics and Collectibles. It's really cool. Had Kit Fista. This is when, uh, from what I understand, this 
was from Clone, okay, Clone Wars. So this was uh, the episode where he was actually underwater, and his, it was really cool because uh, his lightsaber was on underwater too, which was really cool. Then we have this right here, which is pretty cool. The only bad part, I mean, I got really excited about this, and I still am. I was like, oh, this is really cool. And when I flipped it around, I was like, oh, advertisement. Which is it's still fine, but you know, kind of lessens the value a little bit. Okay, the next thing. Uh, those of you who know, X-Men is coming out with a new movie this summer, a blockbuster hit. It is the X-Men Days of Future Past. I'm super excited about it. But before that, I want to uh, feed my cravings watching it and also feed into the anticipation of uh, being able to watch it. So I went and picked this up. This is a trade paperback and it has the complete saga of uh, Days of Future Past. Even though I know about Days of Future Past and I pretty much have the general gist of the storyline and what took place, I kind of wanted to go back and do some research and basically have a first-hand view of what really took place and all the uh, different uh, cool comic art that took place, which is really cool. And since this is a trade paperback, it's basically a reprint of all the uh, comics that were involved in that saga. For instance, this one's X-Men... Number, uh, number 138 and it says uh, Exit Cyclops and then it goes to another comic X-Men King Size Annual number 4 so I don't know exactly uh, the sequence of that but it's supposed to make sense which is really cool uh, because uh, without this the, uh, these uh, original comics are hard to get your hands on, so it's almost near impossible to be able to afford uh, ha having to buy those original comics, which are extremely rare. You probably won't be able to see it at your local comic book shop on a regular basis. So that's really cool. I can't wait to read this. I'm excited about it. It's a reprint, like I said, and I'll enjoy that. Okay, next thing, just like the uh, Days of Future Past, I went and bought some comic books only because uh, there was a huge sale at these stores. They were like 50% off, 60% off, which was really cool. And uh, these are, I couldn't help but take advantage of these comic books because these are comic books that I've always wanted to read. You see those cover arts that, that made into like uh, trading cards. So I got Spider-Man, obviously, number one, it's Spider-Man, which is awesome. Number two, look at the, the artist. He leaves his insignia there, which is really cool. I love his artwork. If you guys didn't see it, I'll make sure to zoom in or perhaps take a picture of it and uh, blow it up or whatever the case is. But I love his art. He's done Spider-Man, I know that for sure. And he's also done Spawn and I'm not too sure what else he's done. So I got Spider-Man. This is number 13. It says the 13 all new collector's item issue, which is really cool, like Spider. And then look at that. It is a reprint or a variant of Spider-Man number one, which I am dying to read. Um, it's a first all new collector's item issue. Guess what? They look identical. Well, obviously it changes, but it's really cool. So I got that. Also, I'm wanting to get into Nightwing. So this is the second comic I got of Nightwing. I still haven't uh, seen, I still haven't read the first one that I bought, but this is uh, number, 29 and I love the new artwork in the the new 52 um, My friend Chris who is a comic book shop owner from Metropolis Comics. He was uh, explaining that you know the Old Marvel comics are good. The newer ones are trash. The old DC comics are meh and the new ones are pretty pretty hardcore so I love the artwork and it's basically what DC did was like a reboot of all of their stuff. So they have a action comics, of course Batman, uh, Nightwing, they have uh, Harley Quinn. They have all these comic books that you know I want to get into. So never been much of a DC fan until now, right? but I still love Marvel. And so I bought X-Men number one. I have X-Men number one already, but this is really cool because I've never gotten a chance to actually have all the variant covers. You see here this is uh, uh, the first cover and then we have X-Men number one again. Same issue but different uh, cover art. 
And then the third one has Wolverine, Cyclops, and Magneto, issue number one. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this, but hopefully you'll be able to see. I'm going to prop it up without having to damage it, but basically, I don't know if you can tell, maybe I'll just take a picture of it, a panel picture, but they, they basically connect. It's like one panoramic view of what's going on. Have all the X-Men fighting Magneto. Actually, Magneto's doing a selfie while everybody's focusing on him. So that's really cool. Can't wait to reread that. Then I couldn't pass up the uh, chance to get one of the original Spider-Man comics. This is uh, eight. And it is the uh, Perceptions, part one through uh, one to five. This is part one. Part two with Wolverine and Wendigo. Part three, Wolverine, Wendigo. Part four, Wolverine, Wendigo. And part five, The Killer Revealed with Wolverine and I'm sure Wendigo's in there too. So that's the what I got from A1. See, I bought more Nightwing. This one was from Metropolis uh, Comics. Uh, Nightwing, again, number the new 52. This is uh, issue number 20, issue number 23. These were on sale, by the way. I didn't just want to buy random comics. I, there was a reason for this. Mm, this is Batman uh, Annual. And this is uh, issue number two. Couldn't find issue number one, but uh, uh, that's the new 52 again. Batman Detective Comics, another reboot. And then I got some spawns. I got spawn number 51, number 11, number 10, number 12. Man, these are all mixed up. Number 32, and number 37. So that's pretty cool. These are the comics that I actually bought, but these were on sale too. I think here it was like 65 or 70% off, which is mind blowing. And last but not least, this is I think the free stuff that I got from uh, Metropolis. First of all, I got the uh, comm commemorative bag. It's, it shows like the, the date and the info. I don't think any of the other stores had these to give away, but that's really cool. So, this was free. This is uh, Prince Valiant in the days of King Arthur. Kind of neat. Okay, this is another free comic. I think this is pronounced Intrinsic Singularity Zero. Ooh. Uh, this one is Wizard School, which kind of made me laugh. Remind me of uh, Hogwarts. Of course, they have their stickers there, so they can determine that that's actually a freebie. And I had this. I don't know. I picked this up. It's uh, also a neat, another free comic, but I think it has... It's more like a digest. It has like different articles and stuff like that, and little tiny comic strips, but uh, not exactly a comic book, which is free. Not bad. It was free. Strangers, it's a cool one to uh, look into. Looks like there's going to be like aliens or zombies there. Uh, Ipso facto, kind of reminds me of what's that one show? Percy Jackson for some reason. I don't know. Then Magic Wind, looks like he's like a Native American or something. That'd be really cool to read. This one I'm interested in, Rise of the Magi. The artwork looks so cool. So I'm gonna read that. Probably one of the first ones I'll read as far as the freebies. Uh, Help the CBLDF defend comics. And it has a lady, whoops, a lady dressed up as Statue of Liberty with a tie. So that's interesting. Uh, Sherwood, Texas. What issue is that? It just says Teen and Up. Also inside, Boondock Saints. Ah, that's really cool. And Valiant Masters. 
That's really cool. And this one I want to talk a little bit about. Um, these were what was available at the table. I called ahead. This is the first uh, place I called ahead because uh, the, the one before that, they had nothing to give. They were completely wiped out of all the free comics. So I called ahead Metropolis Comics and they said they had a little stack. So I rushed over there. Um, I asked the lady what the limit was as far as what I can have. She says, uh, grab whatever you want from the table, which had like these comics there, which was still uh, substantially quite a few comics that they still had. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to be greedy. I'll just take one of each. And so I got that. And so I was talking to the owner. The owner was super nice. He went to everybody and asked them if there was uh, something that they needed, if there's anything he can do to help. It was, he was really nice. And then after a while we were talking, he left to help other customers. And then he came back and he says, you'll, uh, you'll want this. And I was like, oh, this is another free one. And this is uh, Future's End. The new 52, obviously DC. It's a free comic, but I mean, it's really cool. It has a uh, Batman right there, and who else do we see here? I don't recognize any other people here, but this is really cool. It, it looks like a uh, uh, Batman Beyond, but I'm not quite sure. But um, it's the new 52, so it's uh, legitimately a new series. So I'm really excited to read this, but uh, Chris was super nice that he. Uh, he, I didn't ask for this, I didn't know that there was going to be this, but he went up to me and I don't think he gave uh, the other people this, at least I didn't see, uh, but he uh, hooked me up with it and he's all, you, you really want it, you, you really want this. Like he wasn't, I don't know, he just said, uh, he, he was just really kind enough to do that. And so that was exciting. Also, I was excited uh, to see everybody was wearing these shirts, you know, the, uh, this bag that said uh, free comic book day first Saturday in May and I was like oh I want a shirt like that so I asked around uh, if they were selling that and uh, one of the associates asked uh, the boss and Chris said to uh, check in the back and they had a medium which is a little bit small for me but the guy presented it to me one of the associates and I was like okay how much is it he says that you can have it I'm like really and he says, yeah, uh, Chris said that you can have it. I was like, no way. So by far, even though A1 is my comic book shop in Sacramento, uh, Metropolis Comics has beaten every single step of the way. Their sales were great. Their associates were great, very helpful. The, the boss was so into helping people. He wasn't like uh, standing behind managing. He was actually helping guests. So that was really cool. And I think that's it for my haul. Well everybody, that's it for my video. Sorry it took a little bit longer than I expected, but I thoroughly enjoyed sharing that stuff with you. And I can't wait to read all these comics and enjoy all of them. So, like I said, thanks so much for watching. If you guys uh, participated in the free comic book day last Saturday, leave your comments down below. Or if you have videos, share some links because I want to see your experiences of what you've got in your comic book endeavors. But thanks again for watching. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave it down below. Make sure you like this video, and I'll catch you at the next video. Bye-bye.